Tsunami Studios. And we're back. This is part three of my journey going through all my stuff as I go move into my new place. Like I said in previous episodes, I moved back home. Certain business things happening with me that I'm kind of excited about, so we'll just have to see what happens. But today, and in this video, we're just going to go through, you know, all the, all the crap I have. Because I have a lot. More than I thought I did. <laughs> Which is pretty much how it goes with everything. Like, everybody has more stuff than they think they do, and then you just, you just have too much. Right? Maybe I'm the only person that thinks that, but hey. I'm gonna buy more. Because <laughs> that's my life. So, today's episode, we're going through all my uh, trade paperbacks and graphic novels. Because I always have, I always have all of them on display. I love having them all on display. I got one shelf set aside just for that stuff. So let's just go through it all. I'll show you what I put on the shelf. First off, my Hanna Barbera stuff. These are the two volumes of the Flintstones. Love this book. And I got Snagglepuss. Is this the best comic I've read in 2010s? Maybe. I absolutely love this book. I love everything this book represents. I love what it's supposed to be, and it takes the characters in a really cool way. And I got some more of the Hanna-Barbera stuff. This is DC Means Hanna-Barbera Volumes 1 and 2. Really cool. Really excited to have these. Glad I do that. And, yeah, my <laughs> this fat stack right here. All my Preachers. I have all six volumes of Preacher. You know, Volume 6, Volume 5, Volume 4, Volume 3, Volume 2, and of course The Boy Volume 1. Love this book. I could probably do a whole video talking about this book. If you guys are interested in that, let me know because I, I might do it if you guys would want to see me talk about Preacher, the book, in like an extenuous way because I absolutely love the book. Let's get on to more. I got a whole thing down here you guys can't see that has some of my books, so let's talk about them. What we got here? Uh, I got the first two volumes of that Rick Remender series, Low. I have mixed feelings on it, but I'm glad I have the books either way. Uh, R.I.P.D. Volume 1. Hate this. That, that's, I don't want it. I don't like this. That can go away. And it's same as Seven to Eternity. I thought I was going to like this a lot more because the premise seems straight up my alley. But you know what? It's just a little too much for me. And, you know, the artwork's pretty nice. But I, it's not for me. So maybe these... Maybe... I want to get rid of these two. I don't know. Uh, this too is also to help me see what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. So that's going to be in a separate pile. All right, let's get deeper and deeper into the abyss. First two volumes of Jeff Johns' JSA. Look, I love the JSA more than the Justice League. I love all these characters so much, so this is a great book to have. I'm so glad I have this. Mr. Miracle, Tom King and Mitch Gerards cannot wait to get Strange Adventures coming this week. Oh, let's just let's just dive into it. I'm gonna grab a huge thick pile here. Alright, what do we got? Uh what's this? The Hopeless Spider Woman run? I like this run. It's pretty fun. Superman Red Sun, obviously. One of the best books out there. Oh now we're talking. Oh where's the Anyways, I got all the volumes of Sex Criminals. I love Sex Criminals. I could talk about this book too. This and Preacher might be my two favorite comics of all time. I don't know. So, I love it. I got a couple of the Star Wars books. Not a lot. I got the first volume of Darth Vader. I got the Han Solo and Lando books. They're pretty good. I want to get into all the High Republic stuff, so I'm very excited for that. First volume of uh, King's Vision. I'm probably going to get the entire complete series in the big hardcover. Just a random fraction Uncanny X-Men book that didn't cost me anything. This book's good. You like guys like Velvet? I love Velvet. This is a really good book and I'm very excited it's out. Void Trip. The Void Trip's pretty interesting, gotta say. And, you know, Why the Last Man. I like Why the Last Man. I don't think this show's ever gonna be made. But that's just how things go, isn't it? Nothing's ever what you want. Alright. Oh, here we go, boys. Next fat stack. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's volume five of Sex Criminals. It's ending this year. Very sad. Very sad that that's ending. Oh, all right. Now we're getting into some of the big, bigger name stuff that I know you guys are excited to see. 
Uh, first off, Barbarella. <laughs> I love Barbarella. I love everything Barbarella. I have very mixed feelings on this book. But man, that's beautiful. Hey, look at that. That's beautiful. She's gorgeous. I love this. I love her. Anything Barbarella, I'm there. I'm telling you guys right now. Do more of Barbarella. Archie 1941. Not a really fun book, but I have it. So. Okay, let's see. Uh, this kind of all looks mixed up. Uh, Batgirl Burnside. I have this entire run. I think it's in here somewhere, but glad that's here. Uh, the first volume of Rebirth Aquaman. I want to pick up the rest of these. I really do like Aquaman. That book has went through so many changes, though, that I don't know where to start or where to finish. And here we go. The, ent the entirety. Or almost. I think I need volume 8 of the new 52 Aquaman run. Trench, Throne of Atlantis, Black Manta stuff, the, the others, all that shit. It's all in these fixed stacks. And this has went through some interesting changes too. Uh, I like where it went. I think it really redefined Aquaman as a character. So I'm glad that happened too. Alright. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh yes, yeah, some more shit. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Volume 1. Uh, which one is this? I don't even know, is this the Robinson one? Yeah, James Robinson, Keith Griffin. Keith Giffen. Um, what's this? Benjamin Percy's... <laughs> my bad. Benjamin Percy's Green Arrow from Rebirth. Is this worth picking up? Let me know. I might pick up the rest of those two. Uh, this one I don't care about. New 52 Deathstroke. Uh, I'm not a Deathstroke guy. So I got this a long time ago. And it just never really spoke to me, so... It's cool to have, I guess. Uh, here we go. Volumes 2 and 3 of the Batgirl Burnside stuff. That's really fun. I love this book. This is the, this is the series that made me like Batgirl, and I'm very excited I did that. Oh, yes, DC meets Looney Tunes. Have you guys read these? They're so good. I love this. I like these ones a little more than the Hanna-Barbera stuff, because they're just a little more serious and then intertwined with like some actual goofy versions of the story so that's pretty cool some great stuff with Jonah Hex and Yosemite Sam alright what else we got what else do we got Wonder Woman volume 1 of Rebirth I want to go back and get these all I might do what I do with the Superman run and get the deluxe editions all-star Superman probably my favorite Superman story ever I absolutely love it and my second favorite Superman story ever Kingdom Come yeah, I mean, I, I think DC kicks Marvel in the ass when it comes to doing those special books that everyone wants to get. Like, they're just so good. Alright, let's continue. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep it up. What else we got? Uh, what is this? Uh, six volumes of Mark Wade's Daredevil. Was it six or seven? I can't remember. I think I have. I know I have them all, but I can't remember if it was six or seven. Well, here's the first six, if there is seven. So that's pretty cool. I love Daredevil. He's one of my favorite characters. So I'm really happy I have those. All right. Oh uh, yes. Captain Marvel series that I don't really like. So. I bought this because I was like, oh, I'm going to get so hardcore into Carol Danvers. I hate her. I don't like her. She's not a cool character. Don't really want anything to do with her. Character I have learned to like, like over the years is Black Widow. And I got the entire run of that Edm Edmondson run. Edmondson? Yeah, Edmondson. Uh, I love this run. It's pretty cool. The artwork's amazing. And I just had really fun with this one, so I'm glad I have that. Oh yeah, here we go. Sleeper hit book of the of all time, Dan Slott's Silver Surfer. This is great. I have the entire run here. I love this book. This is probably, oh I don't know. Like this is this the best? It's the best Silver Surfer book I think. But is it like my favorite Marvel run? I don't know. There's so many good Marvel runs. I, I don't know. It's up there, though. It's definitely up there. Oh, it's this. Oh, man. Here's a binder. Oh, okay. Sick. So this is a binder full of... I don't know if you guys know from back in the day. The 2003 Ninja Turtle. 
cartoon. This is all the trading cards. Well, not all of them, but I guess some of the ones I collected over the years. That is pretty cool, and that is definitely being shoved underneath the bed. All right, let's continue. Random box. Start here, Ant-Man and Wasp from Tim Seeley. Uh, dollar store purchase. Okay. Is this, uh, yeah, these looks like the Spencer Ant-Man. I, I love Scott Lang. I love Scott Lang. He's one of my favorite characters. So I have these. And I'm loving the new book that's going on from Zub or Wells. Was it, which one? Zub or Wells? I can't remember. One of those guys is doing great. Where are we going to go next? I just have so much shit. Okay, let's just jump in. I've talked about this book before. Fantastic Four by Jonathan Hickman. The, this is the only one I have. It's volume 5. Still love it though. Alright, are you guys here for the Moon Watch? Because here's all my trades of Moon Knight books. I have the uh, Bemis run, the entirety of the Bemis run. Don't like this run, but I have it in trade. Uh, my favorite run, the Lemire run. Have that. Have this. I love this run too. And of course I got the Warren Ellis going into the Wood run, going into the Colin Bunn run. I have all of these books of this series. The artwork's fantastic. I love the covers. Great series. I, I love Moon Knight. This is my character. I'm definitely, I don't have the Houston run in trade. I'm trying to pick up some of the single issues for all of these runs too. If you guys want to see my, uh, my like, uh, floppy collection of Moon Knight comics, let me know, because I almost have the entirety of the first run. I mean, I'm not one of those guys that's going to brag who says he has everything when he doesn't. I have a lot, but I don't have everything from the first run. Okay, here we go. I want to show you this really quick. But I'm definitely going to do a separate review on this because this is the book that got me interested in comic books and thinking about these things in a mature, productive way. I want you guys just to look at it for a second because there's definitely a full video coming on this book. Do you get it? Alright, what's next? Elf Quest. <laughs> Oh yeah, volumes one to four of Elf Quest. I remember these were my grandpa's books, and they're just gorgeous. They're but they're reprints of that original. Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. I love it so much. Absolutely amazing. So I have the first four books of these. They are very cute. I love it. Absolutely love it. What else do we have? Um. Here's just a random Electra book. Who cares? The uh, Fraction Hawkeye run, I have it all right here. Leading into the Lemaire stuff, because they were volumed five to six. I like it, I think it's okay. Not gonna complain, not bad. And then we have Marvel's Visionaries Excalibur volume three. Again, one of those free comic books I picked up. When, when you are, and everyone has this. When you are a fan of this kind of stuff and your relatives know they think anything with the label is going to be something you want. So you get a bunch of shit like this. And I, I do like this book. I love this Excalibur run. So I'm glad I got this one. But I, it's not one I would have picked up on my own time. But it's cool to have. So I'm thankful I got that. Thief of Thieves hardcover uh, volume 1. Not a big fan of this book, but I like having it. I really like this art cover. It looks really beautiful, so that's cool. And okay, early fans of this channel will know about this book. I've talked about it numerous times. Avengers Forever, the hardcover. Best Avengers run of all time. I'm telling you right now, I love this book to death. It is so good. So good. So good. So great. Okie dokie, let's continue. Okay, yes. Ask me about my feminist agenda. This Mockingbird run is really good. I like a good Mockingbird story, so I got both volumes of that. I have Legendary Star-Lord. Not a big fan of this book. I picked it up when I was trying to get into, you know, Star-Lord, but I, I can't. He's, like, he's not my guy. And, yeah, I've talked shit about Bendis before, but I have the entirety of his Jessica Jones alias run. 
all four volumes. I like, I really love Jessica Jones. She is probably my favorite female character at Marvel, aside from Sue Storm. But I, Jessica Jones, she's great, and I love this book, and I love what he did with this original run. Only to be surpassed by what Kelly Thompson did. I have both, I have Purple Daughter and Blind Spot. Great books. Kelly Thompson, I'll talk her up till I'm dead. I love her. She's a great writer. I have a couple of Iron Fist books. I have Phantom Limb, which is that other digital exclusive, which I did like. And I have The Immortal Iron Fist Volume 2. I had Volume 1, lent it to a friend. He lost it and never gave it back to me. That is the last time I lent out any books to anybody I know because I don't want to lose this shit. Because it pisses me off. So much. So much. Let's continue. Are y'all ready to continue? Do more! Another one of those three books I got. Exciting. Ooh, Deathlock the Demolisher. This was actually a pretty good read, not gonna lie. I do like Houston, he's a good writer, so he did something cool there. Uh, the second, uh, is it the second part? Oh, there we go. Here's volume seven of that Mark Wade Daredevil. And then, uh, the second volume he did. All four volumes of that second Mark Wade book. And of course, Watchmen, because of course, who doesn't have a copy of Watchmen? My battery's gonna die, so let's go through this last part really fast. We're almost done anyways. I got The New Frontier. I think this is the Black Label edition. I love this book. I cannot recommend this book enough. And then just a couple of other things. IDW Infestation. Weird fucking book. It's thick. And uh, just a couple of uh, movie stuff, because I showed you that before too. Forbidden Hollywood. <laughs> I love this book. When Sins Rolled... Fuck. When Sins Ruled the Movies. It's pretty much just about when we are allowed to be lusty and like seductive in Hollywood, and it's very cool. And Film Noir, Light and Shadow. I'm currently in the process of reading this one. It's just looking back at like noir films and detective stuff of like the 40s and seeing how light and shadow affected the story and the narrative being told. It's actually pretty interesting and pretty cool. And if you are a fan of this stuff, I think it's a really good read. So I recommend checking that out if you like that kind of stuff about Hollywood. So guys, that's that's my comics. Those are my trade paperbacks and my graphic novels. I have, of course, have a bunch of loose stuff, which we might get to that bin later. But uh, thanks for watching. So like the video and subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Patreon for more exclusive content, and I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, thank you very much.